will they see me as commercially viable or will my channel just be ripped out from underneath me doors close sayonara no more black hoodie it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah hey yo what up world back with another one uh anytime it's wings i feel like personally it's a a fantastic video but uh i will say this lately my wing videos have been getting less play than they used to uh, i i feel like i used to be the top tier wing guy out here in this muck community and i don't know i just i chuck up wing videos lately and they only they're not getting the love they used to but i guess that's the way things go here on the old tube anyways i'm very excited because anytime there's wings in front of me it's a good day my favorite food on the planet next to like a whopper and some other things but uh let's just say what we got we got uh, a honey hot barbecue that I chefed up. I just whipped up a sauce from the fridge and then I have the garlic parmesans, which are very famous out in the community. I feel like people love garlic parmesans. I got ranch, I don't do the blue cheese, carrots and celery. So let's get right to it. Some chats, I kinda wanna talk about something that feels kinda serious today regarding YouTube, it's stressing me out. But let's get to some wings and then we'll just chat. Before we do anything more, we must fill in the blank. Up, 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 up. Pour. We are breaching. Little ditty about Jack and Rose. She's a bitch and he froze. Okay. Lost his toes. Ended up at the bottom of the Osh. Just like the Hope diamond that she threw in at the end, which was worth 1.3 billion mega dollars so we're not at, we're not impressed with rose that floozy getting naked on couches and shit showing her elizabethan times body to a young man cradle robbing but you know what they say every artist needs their muse and she was that for Jack, okay? Every uh, aristocratic beverage connoisseur needs their muse as well, and that for me is Diane Dr. Pepper. So we must have a sip. To be honest, when I drink that, I feel like I'm aboard the Titanic first class. Of course, first class. I'm so attached to that, I might even be the captain. I might go down with the ship. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so here we go. My wing game is a little too proper, but that's between me and the wings. I'm not really trying to flex on you that hard, but I will. We're crispy. We're zispy, whatever that means. And by zispy, I mean zesty, tangy, garlicky, buttery, parmesan type sauce. Uh, do I want to ranch it? Yeah, I'll ranch it right off rip. Why not? Okay, we rotisserie one more time for you. I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm very food in the facey. I always shove it in your face. I don't know what to tell you. Why buy wings from somewhere else when I can make them at home better for like a third of the cost? I'm telling you guys straight up right now, this confirms that. I gotta open, I gotta open a wing truck. Should I start a GoFundMe for a wing truck? Wow. 
Wow, it has to happen. I would totally open a food business. I just don't have resources. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly am so impressed with humans who like are able to get grants and like find ways and like resource get resources to open businesses it's impressive I have no idea how to come up with that what up with that kind of capital and of course the risks associated with it and food businesses are extremely risky low profit margins not a ton of money to be made unless you do it very much very properly I was craving like a a sweet hot wing. So in that sauce I threw sweet baby rays. A bunch of Franks, hot sauce. Of course, my fave, pepperoncini pickling liquid. Mm. Honey, honey, apricot jam. Let that melt out. And then it was a little bit thin, so I hit it with a little cornstarch slurry. Just to thicken it up. It's hitting very very hard one might call it the Ike Turner of sauces <laughs> too soon I will say this though the apricot jam was a late addition because On my initial taste, it seemed a little too spicy. I was figuring, fuck it. Let me add some of this apricot jam. Turns out, that's actually what made it as good as, as it is. Really giving it a uh, unique type flavor. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I want to impart to you. Is like in the kitchen, just whip up random sauces. Add shit that you think feels crazy. Lots of times, you'll stumble into amazing 
unknown things. Such is life. Some of the most amazing findings or discoveries in the world are completely by accident. I swear. There's been times in life where I'm like editing stuff. Music or video or something and I'll like, I'll click a wrong button and then something will happen and then it'll like create this thing that I would have never thought of as like an accident, but a happy accident. And you're like, oh shit, that actually works like crazy. Yes, I just love the crisp level on these boys. Happy accidents. One of the best things in life. Some people might call that a baby. <laughs> a happy accident. To change the course of your life. Some people don't always like the happy accident though. Some people had a plan. I had a plan. And Sabrina, you weren't in it. Real shit, though. That's sad when that happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love when they're crispy and hard to get. I don't even mind that I got to work at the bone for it. Not an issue. What a great batch. I wonder if at this point, celery fibers always freak me out, looking like hairs, but they're not. I wonder if at this point you guys are just tired of watching me eat wings by now. That'd be an interesting thing to find, find out. Over the course in history of the channel, how many wings I've eaten? <laughs> Tell you right now, it's a lot. So yeah, if you made it this far, what's up? How you doing? You're a late stayer in these vids. But YouTube is on some wild shit.
Well, it's not really YouTube, but it is YouTube at the same time. It's the FTC and COPPA. FTC is like Federal Trade Commission. COPPA is just like Child Online Protection Act. Basically, they're getting crazy with child protection stuff. But YouTube was fined all this money because they violated these terms. They are fined like 170 like million, I think. Oh my God, look at that. And then now they've like, that like prompted these governing bodies to say like we're coming in we're, sw we're sweeping the platform we're getting rid of a bunch of channels that make content but aren't commercially viable so they don't make money, don't make run ads. Tons of users and accounts are about to get deleted. If you don't comply with their terms and set your videos to whether or not they're kid friendly or not, which I have done, I did my whole channel. So my channel's technically adult now. But if you don't go through and set the setting to set your channel to not kid friendly or whatever, when they do the sweep, all your videos that you haven't selected for being non not kid friendly, if they're not kid friendly. They'll just get wiped, deleted. All those hard work videos, all that hard work, down the drain, gonzo. Like it never was. The part that worries me is that they're saying they're deleting channels that aren't commercially viable now my commercial or my channel is commercially viable because I run ads to make money but my question is like what's the cutoff how successful do you have to be how much money do you have to be making generating for them for them to deem you as worthy to stay and continue to create like you know my channel's not I don't make that much money so it's like will they see me as commercially viable or will my channel just be ripped out from underneath me? Doors closed, sayonara. No more black hoodie. Years of dedication and hard work. And a source of income. Terminated. I have a feeling I'll be okay. Given the nature of the content, I really think food content will probably be fine. It's not like controversial. And I feel like food content is good for advertising.
but we'll see. I'm just wondering how it's going to affect subscriber counts, like if they go through and delete a bunch of people who create, but they're not monetized that watch me, like how many accounts that is that are going to be gone, how it's going to affect views, all that stuff. And it's starting December 10th. And people are saying, like literally people are like saying that 2020 is looking like YouTube doomsday. Oh, and I forgot to mention that. Basically, YouTube, like, changed these terms of services saying that when the FTC and COPPA do their sweep of the content, when they find videos in violation of their, like, laws or whatever, that didn't get selected like the creator is solely responsible and can be fined large sums of money per video they were saying up to $42,000 per video per infraction so I don't know I've watched a bunch of other big creators with videos talking about it there's like petitions and shit It legit sounds very serious. And people, big people too, are worried. Like, I can see the worry. Now, part of me believes, though that the people that are actually the most worried are the creators who are making children family friendly content apparent because it seems like those are the ones that are actually going to suffer i think if you're in the adult space You'll, you will be much better off. Safer, whatever. I don't think they're really coming for that. As long as you declare that you're an adult type channel, I think you should be okay. That right now is my best understanding. Of what's going on. So. I'm intrigued to see how it plays out. I'm lightly terrified. But I'm also like. Of the thought that. How many times have we seen stuff like this go down with YouTube? And it like doesn't go 
not as crazy as people think. <laughs> that wing face right there. Or it takes like way longer than they expected and there's like It's more difficult to execute than they thought it was. There's backlash, etc., etc., etc. So I don't know. But at this point, it just sounds like some crazy, weird, wild, wild west shit. Just a lot of unknowns. And I can't pretend to be, like, aware enough about it to really speak on what will happen, but those are just the, the talking points that I've pretty much gathered this far. But I'm just praying that it all works out in, in my best interest, well, in everybody's best interest, but, you know. I just don't want to get fucked. That's all. Those were amazing. Way, way, way too good, to be honest. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.